The researchers investigating the Titanic shipwreck noticed something strange. The front part of the ship was in relatively good condition at the bottom of the sea, while the rear part was in a much worse state and lay 2,000 feet away. Despite being submerged for 100 years, which would typically corrode iron and steel, there was a significant difference in the condition of the front and rear parts of the ship if they both sank at the same time. Researchers believe that on the night of the accident, something other than the collision with the iceberg caused more damage to the rear part of the Titanic. But what was it? On the fateful night in 1912, the Titanic was alone in the dark sea, about 700 kilometer away from Newfoundland, Canada. Out of the 2240 people on board, 1,500 lost their lives. What was deemed unsinkable succumbed to the forces of nature and sank into the dark ocean. The only eyewitnesses were those who managed to escape the ship and jump into the icy waters of the Atlantic Ocean. The first rescue ship, RMS Carpathia, arrived 1.5 hours after the Titanic sank, fortunate to have received the Titanic's emergency message. Otherwise, the fate of those fighting for their lives in the cold waters would have been unknown, and the details of the Titanic disaster might have remained a mystery. Initially, no one knew what had happened to the ship, but survivors later revealed the collision with an iceberg. This was confirmed by the iceberg at the scene, which still had the Titanic's red paint on it. The investigation report stated that the iceberg tore a 300-feet hole in the right side of the Titanic, about one-third of the entire side. However, eyewitnesses claimed it took about 2.5 hours for the ship to sink. Investigators believe that if the iceberg had indeed torn a 300-feet hole, the ship should have sunk in minutes, not hours. To uncover the truth, the Titanic needed to be found. After 73 years, when the wreckage was finally discovered, it was a breakthrough for the marine industry. It was time to answer the questions left behind by the Titanic. The wreckage, lying in 4,000 meters of water in the Atlantic Ocean for decades, was investigated through numerous expeditions and countless photographs. Oceanic explorer Robert Ballard, who visited the wreckage over 30 times, never saw a 300-feet hole. Instead, a 30-feet area in the profile photo of the Titanic indicated an impact, covering only 11 feet, through which about 370 gallons of water could enter the ship per second. This rate of flooding meant the ship could have filled with water in 2.5 hours, consistent with eyewitness accounts. The mystery of why the front part of the ship was in better condition than the rear part and why they were so far apart was another question. High-tech sonar scanning technology and ROVs captured millions of photos of the Titanic shipwreck site, which were then converted into a 3D model using computer graphics. This model revealed that the 392 feet long stern's decks were crushed into each other as if made of paper, not steel. Various parts were scattered around, with only two large engines still attached. The 3D model also showed that when the stern hit the ocean floor 110 years ago, it was rotating anti-clockwise and descending at an astonishing speed of 80 km per hour. The impact with the ocean floor at this speed caused the decks to collapse into each other. On the other hand, the bow section's hydrodynamic design allowed it to cut through water easily, unlike the stern. This is why the bow section was in a better condition and did not experience the same forces as the stern. Another mystery was when the Titanic split into two. Eyewitnesses reported that the ship broke into two pieces and it was long believed that this happened before the ship fully sank. However, the 3D model told a different story. The debris, including coffee cups, dinner plates, chandeliers, deck benches, and personal belongings, mostly from the stern section, was scattered over an area of 3.2 square kilometers on the ocean floor. If the stern had separated above water, the debris would have spread over an even larger area. This suggests that the stern broke off closer to the ocean floor and then changed direction, falling 2,000 feet away from the bow. Today, the Titanic's body is completely rusted, with scientists believing that the rusting process is slow due to the low oxygen levels at that depth. However, 
Tests on rust samples revealed that oxygen released by rust bacteria was causing the rust. Experts predict that in the coming years, the floors of the Titanic will collapse onto each other, and the ship will lose its original shape forever.